I want to wear this jacket in the video because it's like freezing in here, but it looks terrible on camera. So I'm just going to take it off. Today we're doing something a little bit different. New format, new ideas. You guys will see. I hope you guys are gonna love it. I know you guys are gonna love it. I'll let you know everything about it in a second, but for now, just let me tell you that today we're talking about rhythm subdivisions. What are they? Why you need them? All that good stuff. Let's go. What's up everyone, this is Ed Talenti. how are you guys doing? I decided to start this new kind of format that I'm gonna do every now and then, I still don't know how often. But the idea behind this series is that I'm gonna keep these videos under or around five minutes and I'm either gonna teach you something or I'm gonna talk about something, spark a conversation, all that good stuff. So, rhythm subdivisions. Before we get into the what and how they work, let me tell you about the why. The reason why it's super important to know rhythm subdivisions is because they're just like melodies. They're just like knowing harmony and music theory, but for rhythm. A lot of people don't really think about this stuff and tend to do it by year, and that's fine. Just like with melodies, you know, you can work it out by year, but when you actually know what you're doing, you have a lot more control, you can achieve a lot of different results, and you can kind of just, yeah, like be in control of your music more. Now that we got the why out of the way, let's talk about the what. What are rhythm subdivisions? So basically music is divided into bars, at least Western modern music. Bars are kind of like a unit of measure that us musicians use to define time in music. There are different types of bars with different lengths, but for today we're gonna use the most common one, which is 4-4. Four, four. So 4-4 four, four simply means that we took that bar, we divided it into four equal parts, and we called each one of those parts a quarter note. To help you understand it better, actually let me turn the camera around and I'll show you what I'm talking about directly in the DAW. All right, so right now we're gonna work in Ableton, but these concepts apply to all DAW and not just DAWs, but music in general. So it doesn't really matter what you use, this is the same. Yes, I also put the jacket back on. It's way too cold in here. So when you open your DAW's arrangement view, right here at the top you have these numbers, right? One, two, three, four, and so on. These are the bars, what we were just talking about. Within these bars, as you can see, you have four little spaces, right? One, two, three, and four. Those four spaces are quarter notes. So what we can do with rhythm subdivisions is take those quarter notes and split them in half, split them in four, make them smaller and smaller, faster notes, more notes in the same amount of time. So for example, if we zoom in on our project a little bit, if you're in Ableton, it's just plus, you're gonna see that those four spaces turn into eight spaces. Now these are called eight notes and they're counted one and two and three and four and. If we go one step further and we zoom in a little more, we're gonna start seeing 16 notes. One E and that, two E and that, three E and that, four E and up. So that means that in the bar, that same amount of space, we can now fit 16 notes instead of the original four. We can obviously keep going and go into 32nd notes, 64th notes, and so on and so forth. Anything beyond like 32nd notes and sometimes 64th notes, anything beyond that, it just kind of sounds like a fart. It's not really used all that much. There are some examples, but not really that much. So these are what we call binary subdivisions. So we have four, eight, 16, 32, 64, 128, and so on. Let me show you something really crazy now though. If we zoom back all the way to quarter notes, what we can do now is go down a whole different path. So if we turn on our triplet grid, which on Ableton is command three, now we can start seeing triplets, right? So remember how we split our quarter note into groups of two and groups of four notes? Now we're gonna split them into three and six. And this gives you a whole different vibe. Let me give you an example. So I'm gonna put down like a super basic kick and snare and I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about with the hi-hats. So I'm gonna go ahead and program two hi-hat parts. One of them is gonna be straight eight notes and the other one is gonna be eight note triplets. Now, of course, these are really, really simple parts, but the idea that I wanna to try to get you to understand is that by using and manipulating rhythm subdivision, by mixing them up one with the other, and by just getting creative with it, you can kind of do the same thing that you do with melodies when you learn a new scale or something. You can just give your grooves like a whole different vibe, a whole different feel depending on what you do. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed this new format. It's probably still a little bit rough around the edges, but I'm gonna perfect it, I'm gonna keep experimenting, and I really think this is gonna be dope. All right, if you enjoyed the video, please don't forget to subscribe button and the notification bell. Thank you so much for your support. Also, if you have a question, you wanna say hi in private, whatever it is, Instagram is the best place to do it. Just shoot me a DM, and as soon as I can, I'll respond to you. All right, I guess this is it for today. Thank you guys so much for watching the video all the way through. I'll see you next time, and as always, be positive, and positive things will happen.